Come on in here. Come on in here. You ain't as big as you think you are. All right, guys. He's a baby. I'm using an odd color. I made this a while back. It's smoke top, and it's got a reddish. It's a pearl with a touch of red and kind of a pinkish bottom. You want to call it real light pink bottom or light red? I made it so long. I don't. I don't remember what I put in it. But I'm fishing with some odd colors is what I'm doing today. Some colors I've made up that just never did make the make the go. I didn't never said, okay, I want to keep making that color. And I was digging through my box, clean it. Because the last trip out, I got water in it. I splashed water in it from the net in my bag. A bag that I carry with bags in it. And I thought, you know what? I need to I need to clean that thing out. And when I did, I took a bunch of stuff out of it today, guys. Some wild looking stuff. Um Orange of shark trues tail and things like things I made back when the water was really stained bad and was trying. So today I'm just gonna fish with some odd in color. If I catch one or two on one color, I'm gonna switch. All right, guys, it's been a while. I'm telling you, it's been about a, and this is nice crappy. It's been probably he came up and jumped like a bass, didn't he? There's only about six fish on this dock. Y'all remember me telling you. In the other videos, and I might have told you in this video, if you want to find big crappie, because I've caught a pile of little ones today, you go look for docks on this lake, they only have five or six fish on it. There's about six fish back there. And I said, well, they could be bass, it could be crappie. Some, if they set the right angle, I can tell you if they're crappie or not. They look like little footballs. Depends on what angle they're setting, how they're moving. They're hard to see some. I'll show you that color in a minute. That's a nice fish, guys. What do y'all think of that one? Bam! He's good 13 incher, all right. Hot day, guys. I know I don't have my arm sleeves on. Y'all probably like, well, Dennis, you don't have your sleeves on? No, and I need to get them on, guys. Uh, I work in the sun all the time. I got no pair I wear in the sun working. Uh, y'all can see the y'all can see the marks and cuts on my hand. And at my age, working all the time in the sun, I don't need skin cancer. That's why I wear so much garbage. I'm, let me show you something while I'm talking about that. All right, look at this hat, how blue it is inside. Look at the outside. Yeah. Where y'all think that's from? <laughs> All right. I've had this happen. I bought the boat. So it'll be three years old. And I wear it fishing only. I don't wear it anywhere else. I wear it fishing. I got clothes I wear fishing only. Okay. I got shirts and shorts and these tennis shoes. I wear them fishing only. I got special soles in them so I can stand up all day like this. Uh, liner so it won't hurt my feet. I don't like to sit down. Might have to one of these days, but I don't like to sit down and fish. But uh, the, sun, the sun can be hard on you. All right, guys, this one is smoked top with black and blue flake, okay, with a pearl belly. What do you think of that? It's just a willow tail. I made these guys a long time ago. That's what I'm saying. I'm digging out odd colors. And uh, the colors I really fished a little bit and gave up on, okay? All right, guys, on the boathouse, I haven't fished this year. <clears throat> I'm trying to. I'm trying to fish some new places, guys. I'm not fishing the same places all the time. I was telling Tony at this morning when I ran to him, I ran to Tony at the neighbor that watches the channel at the gas station. And uh, he said, yeah. I told him, I said, I know I fished some of the same places. I said, but I've had to this year. Oh, bait fell out. Okay, guy, he's about 10. I got my hands on him. I'm just going to throw him back. I'm not in a place to, me to uh, measure him and stuff. I'm between two boat houses here. i watch my boat. All right, guys, I switched docks. I caught one at that dock, and uh, the wind, y'all can see the water's chopping. The wind was beating me so bad. That was a nice crappy here. The wind was beating me so bad, I couldn't I couldn't stay there. I was constantly fighting the trolling motor. And you gotta watch around boat docks, setting your spot lock. And that, that, can, that can cost you too. Oh, stop that. Come, come here. All right, that's a nice one too, guys. I'm catching some of the nicer fish here in the middle of the part of the day. It's after 12. Like I said, it's supposed to start storming at 3. I'm going to try to make this video before it gets bad. It's getting cloudier all the time. He's a nice fish. He's probably 11 and a half. Okay, make sure y'all record. Pretty colors. Can y'all see those pretty colors on him? Uh, <laughs> just toying with the guys. All right. <laughs> I, can, <laughs> I can toy with y'all some, can I? This color right here now, this is completely smoked. I don't know why I haven't put this one on the channel, but on the webpage, but I haven't. We might down the road. This is just smoke 
with some really, really small black flake and blue flakes, all it is. And that would be good in a little, little bit of stained water too because it's got the blue in it. But uh, I wipe my hands off, guys. I know y'all go to dentist, you wipe your hands every fish. Well, I do that because I got to touch this camera. I just put a battery in it. You got to handle the camera. It's tough enough now. It cuts off sometimes when I don't want it to. Let me show y'all what I'm looking at. I'll show you on this camera because uh, I found a few here, guys. Now, I don't know how big it'll be. Let me bring the bottom down. All right. See here? There's a little bit of trash right there. Right there is why I caught that fish. Mm, it's probably, what, 15 there, maybe? But it, I don't, they don't look like monsters. But let's see if we can, uh, let's see if we can catch another one, okay? No. This is tough, because the wind's blowing. Oh, I got my line wrapped around here. I got it. The wind's blowing. You can see the wave action I'm on the main lake. Oh, I hit, now, see, I hit the wave action went up on the dock. All right, guys. Reason I said hold on, guys. When you got that wave action, you can't skip a bait. Because when the water's just choppy, when it hits the water, when it goes to skip, y'all skip rocks. You know, when, oops. That's why I don't. That's why I net them, guys. Right there's why I net them. I done lost two or three in some videos now. Just picking them up because I get too lazy to net them. When you uh, pick them up and that hook, it's just through that white part of their lip and stuff. They gonna come off. The weight of them's gonna pull them off. But when this water's chopping like it is. Your bait won't skip good. Well, guys, if I get this one coming, I done lost. Y'all see me done lost two. I lost another one. He come out of, underneath the dock and jumped. Y'all, I, I didn't even get the camera cut on yet. So I stopped and sharpened my hook. Now, guys, don't be afraid to do that. If you lose the fish, I should have done it after the first fish. It wasn't really dull. See how that hook went all the way through right there? You're not going to lose him if you do that. But sometimes you get hooked in this little skinny part right here. Or if it's this, you just skin hooks them. They don't come off through the lip. And that's how they get off. That's a nice fish, guy. He's a thick fish. He's about 12. Okay. Thank you, buddy. 11 and a half to 12. All right. I'll measure some of them, guys. But I don't measure all of them. I don't want to keep them out of the water very long. Now, guys, I done caught three when it's smoke blue. I like it smoke blue. I don't. <laughs> I got one pack of them. I think so. I got one pack. Like I say, it's one of those colors I was playing around with. That. But that's how I came up with this color, the cotton candy. I just playing around. Now this one's blue and chartreuse belly, but we ain't not gonna try that one. We're gonna try this one, green with a pearl tail. <laughs> All right, I, I heard somebody laugh. You snickers when I showed this one to you. Okay, here we go. Okay, I love these little yellow heads. See, people ask me my favorite head color. I said yellow. I think some people are going like what? Yellow. Well, it's almost a chartreuse, but it's yellow. It's not chartreuse. It's yellow. I like the yellow. That is hard to find. Now, I got this in rigs, guys. So it's oh, Dennis done it cook it. I'm sorry. I had it. Thought I had it ready. I'm gonna turn it back around flat then, because I don't have time to fight it. I thought I had it ready for swimming, but I didn't get it crooked. So, oh, here you go. Had it a little crooked. We we'll straighten it up. All right, guys. This is a color I made a while back, and I don't know if I ever used it. I made some colors, and we got all this rain, and the lake got nasty, and I just didn't get a chance to use some of them. Gosh, guys, this is the first cast. I didn't. I cut the camera off, and as soon as I cut the camera off, I had a fish. I mean, I think the, I think I had the fish before I cut the camera off. Actually, I reached over and cut the camera off, and went to turn the reel handle, and I went, shoot, I got a fish. <laughs> he hit it while I was cutting the camera off. So I would have had live action after let it roll. You never know. I'm just trying not to. I try not to make any videos too long. Y'all don't need to see me stand there. <laughs> yeah. All right, he's about ten, he's about eleven. I'm in some nice fish right here. I'm gonna stay here till they stop. Um, that's that green with that clearest pearl tail. And there's little blue flakes in the tail. If y'all can see it, silver and blue flakes in the tail. Guys, I don't know why I never kept making this color. This green. Well, I can tell you one reason. <laughs> I got to make the tail color, then pull that in, cut it off, put the tail back in the mold, and pour the green. The, on the web channel guys the uh, cotton candy and them are more expensive because they're a lot of work I got to do everything twice <laughs> you know I got to mix two colors keep two colors going keep two colors hot then I have some waste and we're gonna have a video about that coming up shortly about the waste you probably gonna see it before you see this one hey right, guys he's about he's about 11 nice fish right here but this color this, this is emerald green which is silver flake and the tails pearl with silver and blue flake and it's it's working now look I done caught I'm going to switch again, guys. They're, they love this color here, right here. 
I've gotten to bite almost every cast with this color. And you know, when I made this color, like again, again, I'll say this, the water was nasty, I think, stained, and I couldn't get them to hit it. Well, they like it today. All right, I'm gonna lay it up here. So we done did smoke. Now remember, we done did smoke, pearl belly, and we done this, uh, we done this smoke black with pink belly, okay? I'm laying them here together. Now I got an odd color here. This is a remelt. This is a, uh, this is the yum leftovers melted together. All right, guys, I don't, I don't went through by two more colors, nothing. Oh, I'm gonna pick, I'm gonna pick him up. <laughs> Took a chance, didn't I? Let me pick him up. I felt like he was hooked good, yeah. Of course, you let you think they're all hooked good. All right, he's about a ten. That was that's cotton uh, sea candy on the channel, guys. That's called sea candy. All this is watermelon candy. It's got green and blue flake in it, red flake. But I, I just wanted to see if they'd hit it here. Uh, a guy from Alabama, one of my son's friends, I never made watermelon candy for crappy before. I made them for bass and bass worms. And he asked me would I make him some. So my son asked me that. He's like, I got a friend in Alabama. I don't even know the boy's name. Hopefully he watches the channel. My son knows him. I think they game together. Y'all know how that is. Anyway, I made him some and sent him some, and I kept me some. And I started catching fish on them. I never thought about using watermelon candy. I mean, there's so many nice colors out there to catch fish with. I just never used that, that for, I used it for, like say, for bass, but I never used it for crappy. What's a good color for crappy too? I just want to see if it'd work here on these fish. They're getting a little gun shy now. I done caught enough of them that they're getting gun shy. But by me switching colors, it's keeping them active. Uh, but not seeing the same thing all the time, okay? So that wasn't the point of this video. The point of this video is just say how many fish I can catch on how many colors. Well, it is a crappy, guys. I'll be honest with you, the first cast under this dock, and I haven't fished this dock this year. I'm fishing docks I haven't fished this year, guys. And I look, I'm going to say something right now. Right now. <laughs> Let me get my boat situated, guys. The wind's blowing toward this dock. I position myself so I can make a good cast. The first time anyway, okay? If you're fishing a dock, get a good cast the first time if you don't get, and, and before you scare, this is a nice fish, guys. Now he hit a new color. I switched colors on y'all, and this was the first time I cast it too. Very first cast with it. Oh my gosh, y'all might not get to see it. Yeah, you can. It ain't bass, I think it is. I think it's just laying there. I think it came loose, yeah it did. It came loose and fell down in its mouth. I'll, show, I'll tell you about that color in a second. Let's look at this fish first. Wow. Wow. All right, start guessing. Because I know y'all want me to guess, don't you? I'm going to say he's right at 14. All right, guys, he's 13. He's 13 and 7 eighths. 13 and 3 quarters. Let's give him 13 and 3 quarters. He's in between that. All right? See, that's why I said he was pushing 14. I was going to say 13 and a half, and I said, no, I'm going to say push 14. And I was close. All right, guys, let me tell you about this color. This isn't a cricket, all right? Made these about three weeks ago. For, have used them, I think, here and there. I think I have used them in fun video. I don't know. This is motor oil. <laughs> Again, it's like the cotton candy one. It's motor oil with small green flake, small silver flake. I think it's all it's got in it. Yeah. Green and silver. And I put the green because it's motor oil. All right, and we know we use motor oil bass fishing all the time. So I thought, huh, ah, Dennis, just try motor oil. What I done, guys? I'm on the main lake. Okay, the depth finder's reading on the back of my boat. It's 15 foot right there. So it's probably 16, 17 in front of that dock. That's what I'm doing this time of year. It's after spawn. I fish the deeper docks, and we got some current going. If y'all, that's why my boat's doing this right here now. If I'm sitting here running all the time, they're letting water out of the lake above us. You heard me mention that all the time. Well, this is a pyre lake. They make pyre here. So I'm in the wrong place right now. I'm pretty sure I need to be back in there because out here they got to fight the pyre. I can see it going around the post there. That's how strong it gets. It gets where you got to run a trolling motor all the time if, you, if you're uh, manually running it. All right. But the first cast, I came in like this from over there. And had, I was facing it and made the cast, and I was going to turn like I am now. Right there, guys. I got another one. Get him out, get him out, get him out. Cut him out. That's exactly what I done. And the guys, I looked under there, there's only two or three fish, maybe five under there. So I figured that's gonna be nicer fish. 
You've heard me say this a few times, guys. I was just talking, Tony and I was talking about this at the gas station today. He said, where are the big crappy? I've been catching little ones. And Tony, this is what I told you, right? I said, get on the main channel. So, <laughs> see, Tony, I'm proving to what I told you now. <laughs> Tony lives pretty close to me, guys. I didn't know him until he, he wanted a port to catch, and I took it to him, and I got to know him. I said, Tony, get on the main channel. So I'm on the main channel, guys, and fish deeper docks on the main channel, and look, he's got a live scope. I said, look for four or five fish. That's it. And they'll be hugging the post. It'll look like knots on the side of the post. Throw at those. I said, because a lot of them are are crappy some of them could be bass but crappy will set there bass will finally move if you watch them long enough you watch them two three two to let's say under two minutes a bass will finally move circle the post crappy will just set there for a long period of time he's about the same size as the other one guys he's a he's a mate to the other one he's 13 and a half 13 three quarter bam doesn't that make you feel good guys that's a bam right there Whoo! I've got some nice fish in this video. And guys, I made a, I said this earlier. I made a video this morning. It's 2 o'clock. I made a video and I started this one. I don't know what time it was. I started this one probably at 12.31. I caught maybe 11 and a half inches on the first one. I caught them schooling. So you can see it's cloudy. It's like to rain any time. That's when my head in a minute. It's called for thunderstorm season. And I was catching them in open water and on little brush piles in 9 to 10 foot of water. Now I went to a total different pattern. I started fishing deeper docks, started at the mouth of the creek and worked my way to the channel. All right? And I'm doing it about colors, using different colors. Because you know, we always talk about, oh, you got to have this color. And that's what I'm trying to say is most of the time there's a couple colors that will work. There's more than one, okay? I know this from bass fishing. You go to a way in, a guy says, I caught all mine on jerk baits. Next guy, he said, I got 15 pounds. Next guy says, well, I got 14 and a half pounds. I caught all mine on spinner baits. There's more than one pattern most of the time on a lake. Right, guys oh oh broke my heart oh that was another big crappy i was gonna say guys there ain't but six fish back there i don't see but six and then if i didn't turn around and lose one of them i'm sitting there trying to count them with the live scope because they're hard to see they're so far back in there and then i turn around and lose one of them and they're all about the same size that one's about the same size, 13, 13 and a half, maybe 14 in that area, and I lost him. Watched him follow me. I seen, I found that one. Seen that one follow me. He came up, he was off of a post, and I seen him run out from behind the post and start following the bait. And he followed it five foot before he ever hit it. All right, if I done hooked that one, he probably ain't gonna bite again. I done drug him out of there. <laughs> I done drug him halfway out of there. Alright guys, I'm probably going to just head in. Hey folks, I caught some fish. I caught some nice fish today. Look, I'm going to show you something really fast. This is the, what I started with. It smoked with a pearl belly and I got red flake in it. Y'all can see the red flake shine, okay? That worked good. Let's go share these with you. This was smoked with a pearl belly, isn't it? Okay? When I was making the smoke ones, I was playing with smoke colors, okay? That's how I come up with the colors, guys. This was just smoke, blue and black flake. This one I probably should continue to make. It worked fine. I caught fish, you know. Uh, and this fluke, they wouldn't touch it. It smoked silver black flake. They wouldn't touch that fluke. Now, what I'm showing you, there's natural colors. I was catching one of the natural colors, wasn't it? Now, I don't have a couple other ones in my hand that I was using that day. This is a different day. I lost everything, guys. I lost all the outros because I had no audio that day, okay? I made a bunch of stuff that evening and lost it all. This is a uh, light purple. See, it's a natural looking color. All right, they wouldn't touch that one. Okay, just kind of going back over with you. Now, I had a green one and a blue one. They had, there was green and blue bodies with different color tail. They had pearl tails. I, I don't know what I've done with them, guys. I'm not, <laughs> there's probably some more in my boat, but I'm not going to go dig them out. I caught them on the green one, but they wouldn't touch the blue one. Okay, what I want you all to do in this video is I want you to comment below why you think they would hit that green one, but they wouldn't hit the blue one. Why they hit the smoke with blue flake and hit these mostly natural colors really good okay water was two and a half foot visibility this was the winner of the show i think this one done the best this was the virginia shad colors my first run on it okay i've improved it a little bit i think all right and it's basically a smoke with a little bit of blue highlight and it's got silver and chartreuse flake in it that's it now i'm putting small black in it and chartreuse silver okay 
That was the first time I ever made it. Okay? And the other two baits were crickets. One's, one's uh, mud oil. Okay? Uh, I, this, this one, I hold down see it. All right. This one's uh, green, and this one's mud oil. Now, the green came about leftover natural, the color natural I make, and I call it earth now. On the web page, on the web channel, web store, I can say this on the web store, it's going to be called earth. All right? This one is not on there. I had to drop a blue to it, and that's what it came out to be. All right? So, guys, that's what I do. I make colors, I'm sh and that's what I'm sharing with you how I do this. I make colors, and I go out and play with them. If I don't catch a bunch of fish on them, and I don't think that they're really good, then that's it. Uh, I fish with them on a fun video once in a while, but they're not going to the web store unless I think that they're really outstanding colors, okay? This mud oil one, I'm going to continue to fish with it. Maybe by September, okay? I might be putting more colors on to by September. The crickets, the crickets are going on today. The crickets are going live today, okay? Of course, by the time y'all see this, it'll be about two weeks down. But the crickets are going on live today. This is the 1st of June. Uh, the other colors that's on there, there's 12 colors on there, okay? And there's four bodies in the, in the baits. And in the crickets, there'll be um, two bodies. There's six different baits bodies on there now. The cricket will be a two inch, and the inch and a half, as I call bug. All right, guys, appreciate you. Thank y'all so much. Check the store out if you haven't, guys. Check it out. Okay, um, I'm constantly gonna be adding stuff on there. My name is Dennis. We'll see you next time. Fishing Lake Country.